Would you like to know how to use Microsoft Teams within five minutes? This free application can allow you and your teams to stay connected during a situation like a lockdown where you're all working from home or in different towns without losing that company culture. If so, stay tuned to this video and we'll get we'll explain within five minutes, not 20 like other videos, five. To start with, a background about Microsoft Teams. Now, Microsoft acquired Skype many years back um, after having MSN Messenger and Skype became Skype for business if you use Office 365. Now, Microsoft wanted to have one product instead of lots of products, so they've integrated Skype for Business into Microsoft Teams. And as a result, it's used for sharing documents, group chats, so you don't have to keep checking your emails, um, also useful for projects, so only certain people stay in the loop. Now, Today's video, although I've got other videos on Teams, is how to have a meeting, a Teams meeting, and it can be done in a matter of minutes. Basically, if you're using Office 365, great. Your login details will be your Office 365 details. If you're not, sign up to a Microsoft account with your email address and a password of your choice and you'll use that to log into Microsoft Teams. Now, if you use, if you're not an Office 365 user, what you would have to do with the Teams meeting is add lots of contacts and join them into a meeting. You could create a channel and then from a channel, which is like a group, start a meeting, a video meeting, an audio meeting, or even screen sharing. So it could be one of your monitors, what's on there. It could be PowerPoint, it could be your web browser, it could be PDF document, anything of your choice. If you want to have audio meetings or video meetings, then there's a call icon or a video camera icon. So you can do that. Now, if you're a Microsoft Office 365 user, the simplest way is using Outlook. So you go to your calendar and there's an icon, I think it's the fourth icon, I will add a screenshot shortly, where it says new Teams meeting. It creates the content of the calendar appointment for you with a unique link. All you have to do is send an email to all the people you want to invite. During the start of the meeting, you click on the link and then using Teams, there will be a join button. I will add some screenshots too. And as people join the meeting, you can see um, all these other people connected to your meeting. And as the um, host of the meeting, you have control over what is displayed. In addition, what Microsoft recently added was transcriptions. So you know where you see subtitles down here in YouTube? What Teams does is it adds it in this area, in this white text. A plus point does it automatically for you. Um, you just need to click a couple of options, which I'll also add to the screenshot. And um, a minor point is the text is white. So if this area is a light color, you will have difficulty seeing what's being said. In addition, um, you can record the meeting and utilize that as an upload for YouTube or social media, or even share um, the video with others. It will create it, I think it's in, uh, MP4 format, so the same as what your 
camera does on your phone. So people can view that on their t phones, tablets, computers quite easily. Now, if you have any questions regarding Microsoft Teams, please drop a comment, um, get in touch. Our details will be in the description below. And we have other videos on Microsoft Teams. Hopefully I've kept that to five minutes. Um, if I have, subscribe to the channel. If I haven't, give me a dislike. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe, stay well.